Hello and welcome back to Read Becca. We are here yet again for another TBR because June is gone. Where the heck did it go? <laughs> I do not know. Uh, it definitely slipped through my fingers. So, so we're going to talk about July with new hope and and hopefully some escapism. I am definitely needing some escapism. That is for sure. So, I recently did my goals video and. As a result, I, I'm being fairly on track for the year. I'm going to throw that all out the window and read nothing that meets any of my goals. <laughs> so, so this is going to be a fun TBR for, as I said, escapism. Uh, I have not been reading very much sci-fi and fantasy or romance lately, and so that's that's all I am planning out for this month. So before we get into the TBR as well, I have number one, I do still have book two prize books to read for this next month. Um, I am planning on signing up for the next round, but hopefully I will not have to read a full six books um, since I will have read books from previous rounds. Hopefully they'll carry over into the final round. Um, so so I have three more books from Book Two Prize to read next month. I'm not going to include those in my TBR, but, but they're going to get read. At least one of them is a very short book that I don't expect to take more than a day. So, so I'm thinking the TBR is very manageable, keeping it light. The other thing to point out is that basically these are all kind of new releases or newish releases that are slowly not becoming new releases anymore. And so I want to get to them because I'm excited about them. And the main reason I'm excited about them, um, I think all except for one of these are, are books I've seen multiple places. But specifically, the incentive for me to pick these up is, is from Shannon from That's So Co. So Shannon and I have been bookish buddies for multiple years, long before I was ever on booktube, and we have pretty similar taste, I would say, or, or we enjoy a lot of the same elements. So she is definitely a bellwether for me enjoying books. So I have very good feelings about all of these. So she definitely is the influence for my TBR for the month, because these are all books that she has raved about and really enjoyed and definitely pushed me toward picking them all up. So the first one is a recent romance. And I think I'm going to get this on audio. Um, this is Donut Fall in Love by Jackie Lau. Shannon has raved about Jackie Lau and is kind of reading her whole back catalog, I think. So I'm really excited to try this. And I actually just recently picked up another of Jackie's books uh, for free on a Kindle sale. So, so I have something else to go to if I really enjoy this. Um, I'm going to pick this on audio because I think it's going to be more like rom com -y or sweet rather than spicy, hopefully. I do not do spicy books on audio. Can't stand to listen to it. So I, I think this one's going to be fun, though. The, the audio sample sounded very good and uh, very uh, adorable, I think. So this one, as far as I know, is set in Canada, and it's following um, an actor over here who uh, I think is about to go on a, a baking show, a celebrity competition baking show, and he gets help from a baker. So I don't know if they're going to compete together or if, or if you know, he's just prepping or what, but I think that's a great premise. I absolutely love baking and, and cooking shows, if you've been around at all, and I, I love any romance that has to do with food. So I'm very excited to pick up this one and, and hopefully it's going to just sweep me away. Then on to uh, my physical books that I got from the library. I have Light from Uncommon Stars by Rika, Rika Aoki. Uh, this one is a sci-fi, but I think I've heard people say there's more fantasy to it. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I think this involves very similar to the previous a donut shop, but it's run by aliens, oddly. Uh, and um, in addition to the alien space element, there is a Faustian bargain with a violinist. So, so I know <laughs> that's probably not as straightforward what it's about or how those two things mesh together. I have no idea. Uh, however, I have seen a lot of people picking this up for Pride Month because this does feature a trans character and a trans author. Um, so, so I'm definitely intrigued to pick it up. I feel like I'm a little behind the curve because I've seen so many people picking it up and enjoying it this month. Next, I've got one that both Shannon and uh, Angela from Literature Science Alliance raved about before it won the Newbery Award. And that's The Last Fantista, and this is by Donna Barba Higuera. So this one is another sci-fi. Uh, this one I think is going to feature kind of ancestral knowledge 
because this uh, Quentista is like a storyteller. So I think, I think this features a generation ship and this girl is the last Quentista on that generation ship by virtue of being the only one with a memory, perhaps? I'm probably hor horribly butchering these, but that sounds really intriguing. That sounds kind of similar to the, the, the situation with a Quentista that I just read in uh, Each of Us a Desert. It reminds me a little bit of The Deep by River Solomon, which is another book I really love. So I'm super intrigued to get into this one. And as I said, it won the Newberry. So I'm, I have never had bad luck with those. They're, they're always great. So very excited for this one. And my last pick for this month is uh, another kind of YA. And this is Ilatsue by Darcy Little Badger. This is Darcy Little Badger's uh, debut novel. Uh, this is another kind of speculative -y with some ancestral knowledge, I would say just like the last one, where we have this, this character who is Lipan Apache in I think a small community, and she is trying to solve a murder, perhaps. But she also has this ability to raise the spirits of, of dead animals through this kind of ancestral ability. So, so I think that's really intriguing and a, a, a new take, I think, on something that, that we've seen. I, I think Firekeeper's Daughter was another fairly recent one that, that sounds kind of similar, but I like the speculative element to this. So very intrigued by this one. This one has had absolute raves. And again, Shannon um, has loved this so much. I think the, the publisher is one that she is trying to read pretty much all, all of the works from. I think it's Levine Corrido. Yeah, Levine Corrido. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm really excited to get to this. And I do want to also pick up uh, Darcy Little Badger's newer book, uh, Snake, Calls, Snake Falls to Earth as well. Um, that one sounds fabulous too. So that is going to be my reading for July. Hopefully these are pretty safe bets, I think, for my enjoyment. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to like all of these. Who knows if we'll have some five stars in here, but at least if they carry me away <laughs> to escape from reality, I will be thrilled. So that's it for my reading for July. Have you read any of these? What do you think? Do you think I'm going to enjoy them? Uh, thanks so much for watching.